10 shocking assassinations and attempts on US presidents throughout history. Ronald Reagan was shot on March 30th, 1981, by John Hinckley Jr. outside the Washington Hilton Hotel. Hinckley, who was obsessed with actress Jodie Foster, hoped to impress her by killing the president. He fired six shots, one of which hit Reagan in the chest, narrowly missing his heart. Reagan underwent emergency surgery and made a full recovery. Hinckley was found not guilty by reason of insanity and was confined to a psychiatric facility until his release in 2016 under strict conditions. Robert F. Kennedy, a U.S. Senator and former Attorney General, was assassinated on June 5, 1968, in Los Angeles, California. Kennedy was shot by Sirhan Sirhan shortly after delivering a victory speech for winning the California Democratic primary for the 1968 presidential election. He died the following day, on June 6, 1968. Sirhan assassinated Kennedy primarily due to his strong opposition to Kennedy's pro-Israel stance and his support for US military aid to Israel. Sirhan was initially sentenced to death, but his sentence was commuted to life imprisonment in 1972. Andrew Jackson faced an assassination attempt on January 30th, 1835, by Richard Lawrence in Washington, D.C. Lawrence approached Jackson with two pistols, both of which misfired. Jackson, known for his fiery temper, attacked Lawrence with his cane before others intervened. Lawrence was found not guilty by reason of insanity and spent the remainder of his life in mental institutions. James A. Garfield was shot by Charles J. Guiteau on July 2, 1881, at the Baltimore and Potomac Railroad Station in Washington, D.C. Guiteau, a disgruntled office seeker, believed that killing Garfield would help unite the Republican Party and ensure his own political appointment. Garfield suffered for weeks from his wounds, ultimately dying on September 19, 1881, due to infections. Guiteau was arrested and later executed by hanging. Franklin D. Roosevelt survived an assassination attempt on February 15, 1933, by Giuseppe Zangara in Miami, Florida. Zangara fired multiple shots at Roosevelt, who was giving a speech from his car. He was driven by a deep-seated hatred for politicians and a belief that they were responsible for the economic hardships he endured. Although Roosevelt was unharmed, Chicago Mayor Anton Kermack was hit and later died from his injuries. Zangara was quickly subdued by the crowd and later executed in the electric chair. William McKinley was assassinated on September 6, 1901 by Leon Cholgosh at the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York. Cholgosh, an anarchist, shot McKinley twice in the abdomen. He was motivated by his anarchist beliefs and a profound disillusionment with the government and society. Despite initial signs of recovery, McKinley succumbed to gangrene caused by the bullet wounds on September 14, 1901. Jolgosh was quickly apprehended and later executed in the electric chair. Theodore Roosevelt survived an assassination attempt on October 14, 1912 by John Schrank in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Schrank shot Roosevelt in the chest, but the bullet was slowed by a folded speech and glasses case in his pocket. He believed that Roosevelt's quest for a third presidential term was a dangerous threat to American democracy. Despite being injured, Roosevelt insisted on delivering his scheduled speech before seeking medical attention. Schrank was later declared insane and was committed to a mental institution, where he remained until his death in 1943. John F. Kennedy was assassinated on November 22, 1963, by Lee Harvey Oswald while riding in a motorcade in Dallas, Texas. Kennedy was struck by two bullets one of which was fatal, causing his death almost instantly. Oswald was driven by a complex mix of personal, political and psychological factors. He was later arrested but was shot and killed by nightclub owner Jack Ruby two days later while in police custody. Abraham Lincoln was assassinated on April 14, 1865 by John Wilkes Booth at Ford's Theatre in Washington, D.C. Booth's motivation was his anger over the Confederacy's defeat in the Civil War. Booth shot Lincoln in the back of the head while he was watching a play. 
Lincoln died the following day, marking the first assassination of a US president. Booth fled the scene but was tracked down and killed 12 days later. On July 13th, 2024, former President Donald Trump was the target of an assassination attempt while addressing a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The assailant, Thomas Matthew Crooks, fired eight rounds from an AR-15 style rifle from a nearby rooftop. Trump was hit in the upper right ear and sustained injuries, while one audience member was killed and two others critically injured. The Secret Service's counter-sniper team neutralized Crooks moments after the attack. The incident is being investigated as both an attempted assassination and a potential act of domestic terrorism. Trump, after receiving medical attention, was released in stable condition and appeared at the Republican National Convention two days later, emphasizing the resilience of his campaign and the urgency of addressing political violence in the country.